Good morning. Uh, today is day three of the solar gazing experiment and um, just got done doing um, actually a full minute uh, right up here on the Mogollon Rim. And um, I'm excited. Uh, there's, it's, it's interesting because it's a lot like some of the other things I'm adding into my life that there's all these other benefits that um, weren't really the initial purpose, but um, there's a lot of cool stuff to go along with it. For one, to get up this early in Phoenix, Arizona is a huge blessing because you get at least three or four hours of um, time that you can be outside, whether it's riding a bike with my dog or hanging out with my daughter. Um, I guess I could do, it's not as big of a deal when I'm up here at the altitude because I have the cool air all day, but in Phoenix, it uh, yesterday it was it was really cool to have the morning without any rush. Um, I had time to meditate. Lauren joined me for the solar gazing and for a short meditation, and took my dog for a nice long run and had a nice chill breakfast, um, which is new for me because usually I wake up like shotgun bang straight out the door, and um, that creates stress for for everybody. It's not good. Um, so I think I'm going to become a, officially a morning person. We'll see if I can um, keep it going. So there's that. Um, I'm also uh, signed up to do a Vipassana training, a 10-day silent meditation um, in early September. So this is going to help me to have some quiet time in the mornings to, to do my meditation. Um, Time to read, time to relax, time to just chill, be outside, um, and spend some time with my kiddo. I love it. Uh, the eyesight thing wasn't originally the purpose in doing this. It was more for pursuing the, the higher consciousness and self-realization and more awareness. So if I get all that stuff... That's really cool. I'm still waking up, so if I'm rambling, that's why. Um, in other areas of my life where I've been making some changes to, I recently switched my my diet from a relatively healthy standard American diet to um, a pretty close version of a high-carb, low-fat, raw vegan diet, something close to as what's being prescribed by um, Dr. Douglas Graham and his book the 80 10 10 diet which is a phenomenal read I highly suggest it um, and so I'm eating mostly fruit and vegetables these days with um, some added cooked starches in the evenings every every few days um, and what started as a as a, a pursuit of, of just a way to be healthier um, come to find out that it's also really 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 pushed my consciousness to a new place without um, having any idea that that was going to happen but by simply cutting out all the all the junk and I was eating pretty healthy to begin with but by cutting out all the junk I don't know it's just I'm more aware of when I'm present and and when I'm not I can I can catch it faster when I slip into ego and um, that's just been really, really neat. My carbon footprint by cutting out the other stuff is drastically reduced. Um, I don't really have any waste. When I buy strawberries or blueberries from the grocery store, that's about it. The plastic thing that it comes in. Everything else just goes straight into the compost pile and there's no, there's no, there's no trash. Um, Lauren's attitude has improved greatly since we've switched the diet over. She's always been a cool kid, but I've noticed even more marked improvement. I am higher, I have, I have a keener sense of, of or awareness of, of the programming that's going on in general society. Like, I haven't watched TV in ages, but now even the billboards and stuff that come, like, YouTube ads and things like that are tripping me out, scaring me. 
<laughs> which is fine. I just turn it off. Um, the list goes on and on. This is coupled also with my my regular Bikram yoga practice. I practice probably four or five times a week and teach four times a week right now. Um, I'm reading more. I'm reading faster. I'm seeking out more knowledge. Um, so as far as um, doing a double blind uh, science experiment with the with the solar gazing, that's kind of out the out the door because there's no constant here. There's lots of other things that are are going on for me, but they're all connected and it's really cool. That's about it. Um, enjoy the rest of your weekend and. Um, Anybody that wants to come get some fresh mountain air camping with me, let's do it. Love and light.